We went to the football game yesterday. Somebody gave us some tickets. Whoever you were, thank you. And uh, so as a good father, I, I bought my boys some cotton candy. And, uh, you know, cotton candy is just amazing. Sh- sugar spider webs. It's just a great idea. But there's some little chunks. So I wanted to, uh, I kept stealing, borrowing, taxing my son's cotton candy, um, testing, and they kept giving me the, the hard, crunchy, sugary bites that, you know, the sugar that hadn't spun out into its magical web, but it was just this hard chunk of like a giant sugar cube. Um, I choked a couple of those down actually, but that's pretty gross. Just as hard, nobody wants this hard sort of rock of, of sugar. Much less do you want a, a hard heart of stone that just continues in unbelief. And you see what happens in the final stage of this progression? They begin to speak evil about the way. That's what happens. It maybe starts and you're kind of a, you're listening, oh, I don't know about this. And then you say, this is ridiculous. You say, I can't believe it. And then you start hearing it. And before you even hear about Christ, you already know that you're going to hate it. You already have five reasons why you're not going to believe. I mean, there's people you could share the gospel with. And sometimes, you know, it might be a, a good idea, be kind of bold to say, now, before I tell you anything, let me, let me just ask, do you already know that what I'm about to say is wrong? You already know. Now, let me hear your reasons why you already know it's wrong. Because it often happens that way. They've already decided, already hardened, already continue in their unbelief. And then the final stages, then they begin to speak out against it. They go from a, a passive opposition to an aggressive attack. Their disdain, their disbelief grows in their hearts. And you and I need to be careful where you find yourself. Is is it possible some of you are sliding down that hill? Just passive indifference and apathy to a, a kind of stubbornness, to a hardness, to an unbelief, all the way to an active opposition. And when you start sliding down that hill, you think, I, I, yeah, maybe I'll believe later. You know, I'll get kids or when I'm old, you know, before I die, after I have some fun. Maybe, maybe then I'll decide to really get serious about this. No, you're, that, that's like, you know, going out in the freezing cold weather and saying, you know what, my hands hurt. They're getting frostbite. You know, I can deal with this later. I'll put some gloves on and, you know, three days from now. And by then your hands are, they're blackened. They're good for nothing. They're going to fall off. And so it is with our hearts. If we don't pay attention, there is no standing still with God. You are either growing in your faith or you are growing in disbelief. So what is going on with your heart? It's a dangerous thing to just think you're coasting because I'm not real good at physics, but if you're coasting, you're usually going down a hill, you know, going up it. <laughs> you're, you're, you're sliding, you're slipping And so we see their progression all the way until they speak evil of the gospel. 